Hi all of you. So this video is on a reason on question on human placental lactogen. So the role of human placental lactogen is significant and why, right? So we are going to learn about why the role of human placental lactogen is significant, right? First of all, what is its other name? Let's say the other name for human placental lactogen, which, te which tells us many things. Human somatomammotrophic hormone, right? It's also called as human somatomammotrophic hormone. So from the name itself, you'll be able to see that somato and mammotrophic right somato means it is dealing with growth and development so of course this has a role in the growth and development of the fetus right and mammotrophic which means that mammotrophic which means that it has to play a role in lactation okay so let's see the different roles that it plays lactogenic so it has a lactogenic role, which means that what is it? It prepares the breast for lactation. Okay, it prepares the breast for lactation so during pregnancy. So what produces this human placental lactogen? Human placental lactogen is produced by syncytiotrophoblast. Yes, it is produced by the syncytiotrophoblast of your placenta. Okay. And as the weeks, gestation week increases, the synthesis of this human placental lactogen also increases and it is related to the increase in the placental tissue and increase in the functional syncytiotrophoblasts. All right. Yes. And since we have seen that the name of it is human somatomammotrophic hormone, what are the two other hormones that comes to your mind? Yes. So somatotrophic hormone is growth hormone, right? And also you should remember about lactogenic hormone, which is prolactin. So this human placenta lactogen is homologous in structure and function with these two hormones, right? Growth hormone and prolactin. So all the functions that we would be discussing now will be the functions of these two growth hormones and prolactin hormone. Right. And lactogenic, the function of which is it prepares the breast for the lactation during the pregnancy. And, and a metabolic function. What is the metabolic function, all of you? About the glucose metabolism, lipid metabolism, also with the protein metabolism, we are going to see. Glucose metabolism with this carbohydrate metabolism, I would tell you it has an anti-insulin effect which means that it reduces the insulin sensitivity, right? It reduces the insulin sensitivity in the mother. Yes, so because of which it reduces glucose uptake in the mother, right? It reduces glucose uptake in the mother. So it reduces insulin sensitivity or in other words, it, it increases insulin resistance. Thereby, it reduces the glucose uptake in the mother right so what happens this the glucose is more and that glucose would be spared for the fetus to utilize right and lipid metabolism how does it affect the lipid metabolism it enhances lipolysis as it enhances lipolysis there is more free fatty acid in the circulation and those free fatty acid breakdown gives the energy for the mother gives energy for the mother and thereby yes and thereby mother uses fatty acid oxidation for her energy and the glucose is spared for the fetus all right glucose is spared for the fetus now the in protein metabolism it enhances the protein synthesis okay protein synthesis and it brings about positive nitrogen balance right and this is all the metabolic effects, metabolic role that this hormone plays. Next is somatotrophic hormone. Somatotrophic is nothing but, of course, it is allowing more glucose to be utilized by the fetus, is it not? So, where uh, it, it, uh, the metabolic effect tells us that it reduces the glucose uptake and those glucose are being utilized by the, by the fetus. So, uh, and uh, it also has other role that it plays that helps in the growth and development of the fetus. Yes, growth and development of the fetus. And next is, it also has erythropoietic role and aldosterone stimulating effects, right? So, it, erythropoietic role, all these have been mentioned very uh, minimally, but still it uh, increases the erythropoietic effects of erythropoietin stimulating factors like erythropoietin. 
okay and also it has aldosterone stimulating effects but our main effects will be what main effects one is lactogenic lactogenic it prepares the mother for lactation yes because this hormone is produced during the pregnancy by the sensitotrophoblast of the placental tissue right and during the pregnancy itself the it is preparing the breast for the upcoming lactation period and metabolic effects are it decreases the insulin sensitivity so it decreases the glucose uptake also it increase uh, so it decreases the insulin sensitivity and decreases the glucose uptake and it increases lipolysis in which case fatty acids will be available for the mother for energy and glucose will be spared for the fetus to use increased protein synthesis so it enhances nitrogen retention so it is bringing about positive nitrogen balance and somatotrophic effect is it is uh, it helps in the growth and development of fetus yes so as we have already seen it has the it is homologous to the uh, stru in the structure as well as the function of growth hormone and yes growth hormone and prolactin right yes so thus uh, we can be pretty sure that the role of human placenta lactogen is of course significant yes see you guys with the next video bye bye